if you would like to create your own public link shortener that anyone can use to shorten links on your domain, you can do that by using short.io. So I've previously made a video showing how to set up short.io on your own domain. So first you will need to do that. I will link the video at the top right, but I'm going to briefly go through it again. So you need to go to app.short.io, as you can see at the top, create an account and then click on add domain and then go to add my own domain. And here you need to pick the domain that you want to use. So in my case, I'm going to be using ls.rider.link and then click on add domain. And now I'm going to add the DNS record. So in this case, I use AWS. So I'm going to click on create record and choose CNAME as the type and then set the subdomain as ls and set the destination to be cname.short.io with a full stop on the end and then click on create. And once that's done, you'll see the record added to your DNS list. As you can see, this one is here. So now if I go back to short.io, you'll see the domain is set up and we can make short links by typing one in at the top. And then that'll be the path to the link and it'll work. Now, if you want anyone to be able to create a link on this domain, you can do that by following these steps on short.io's developer webpage. Link in description. So you need to go to this link and then click on create API key and make it a public key and then lock it down to the domain that you just set up and then click on create. And this key will only be shown to you once, so you need to note it down somewhere. So back on short.io's developer page, if you scroll right down to the bottom, you'll see a huge block of code. You just need to copy everything out of there. And then you need to have a way of hosting this HTML file. So in this case, I have a hosting provider set up on my domain. So I'm going to upload this to rider.link and then create a new file. And I'll just call it ls.html so that it matches the subdomain. And then I'm going to open up that file and I'm going to paste that code into this document. So you'll see here where it says API key. You just need to replace that with the API key that you got from your short.io dashboard. And in the your domain section, you also need to change that to the domain that you've just set up. So in my case, I'm going to put ls.rider.link and then save that file and of course re-upload it. Once you've done that, you can go to the web page where that file is hosted and then type in a link that you want to shorten. Click on shorten and you see it generates the link there. So then you can copy this. Paste it in at the top and you'll see it goes straight to that URL. And if you go back to your short.io dashboard, you will see the link that we just created listed in your dashboard. If you found this video useful, please subscribe and thanks for watching.